gonna be real with you, I hate summer. I think we were all tricked into liking summer as kids because it was the only time we got to really exist stress-free without school looming over us. It's hot and sticky and I always feel kind of damp. My hair is constantly frizzy and also somehow completely flat at the same time. So many bugs and plants are out to make me itchy and miserable. But I figured if I really want to be happy in life, I should probably learn to find good in things that I can't stand. So romanticizing summer, my absolute least favorite season, seemed like a good place to start. When we wake, hear the birds and see the sun. Side by side, our fears are done. All the good times just begun. Let's hold on tight Found what we're looking for in life Call us crazy But things are finally right With you and I The future is bright So I'm sure that most everyone at least knows of The Princess Bride, but we saw this 30th anniversary edition in the bookstore while looking for summery books and it was too beautiful not to get. This was actually released in 2013 so we're a little bit late getting to it, but it found us eventually. Even though this was a book I read in school ages ago, The Princess Bride just feels like summer. Stories about pirates and farm boys feel like they should be read out in the sun on a picnic blanket. 
The Percy Jackson series is maybe an obvious choice for summer because they're going to demigod summer camp, but it's one of my favorite series and was the first to come to my mind when I thought about making this video. There's so much that takes place on, near, or in the ocean, and reading about Percy and his friends gives me the same feeling that running around the woods as a kid gave me. Fable is another book about pirates and life on the sea, and there isn't really another season that feels like pirates to me. I can't say that Fable was my favorite book ever, but it was definitely a fun read that put me back to the summer when I watched Curse of the Black Pearl every single day. The last two books I picked up on recommendations from friends and I'm so excited to read them. I was told this first one, The Very Secret Society of Irregular Witches, felt more late summer into fall kind of vibe, so I haven't started that one yet, but from the cover alone it looks like summer nights when the fireflies come out. I am about halfway through the house in the Cerulean Sea, and it's so sweet and very summery. I didn't really know what to expect except that it was on a lot of cozy reads list, but so far there's so many summer camp on the beach feels with adventuring in the woods, and the sound of the ocean coming through the windows of the little guest house, it's really the perfect summer book. If you have any other summer reading suggestions, let me know in the comments. A couple other books I've been thinking of picking up are the cute beach read Love and Gelato by Jenna Evans Welch and E. Lockhart's We Were Liars, which I don't know much about but seems to be more along the lines of the secret history but rich family on the beach rather than rich students at school. After finishing our picnic and reading, we took a walk on the beach and found a little baby turtle. We helped it get to the water away from the birds and continued on our beach date. very important must-have summer item is iced tea. I'm normally a hot beverages only kind of person, but when it hits around 90 degrees, all I want to do is become a block of ice. Eastern Shore teas, mint julep, and summer house teas are so perfect for iced tea, and Celestial Seasonings peach tea is one I drink year-round in any temperature. I usually just make iced tea in mason jars, and I don't like to put boiling water in them in case they shatter, so I just put some tea into room temperature water, and it's ready to drink in a few hours. I guess that makes it more like tepid tea rather than iced tea, but that's close enough. Micah likes to add ice to his, but ice is too cold for me. Whenever Micah and I go for walks or want to read outside, we always bring a jar of tea with us. Thank you. 